Okay, let's get into this. As people forget what really goes on in the city and who you really vote for, and um, we're going to talk about refugees here. You're not going to hear any more music in the background because of copyrights from YouTube, of course from Facebook, of course from Twitter, of course from everywhere. So we'll take away the music away from here. And uh, what we're going to do is talk about refugees. As people are voting for your Fred Eisenberg, as people are voting for your, I guess, you know, your Liberal Party, your NDP party and everything, um, all across here, Ontario, regardless where you are, let's remember, I'm uh, running for Premier of Ontario as the main leader of the Republican Party. And uh, this is going to be some reality to the people out here. All across Ontario, we have citizens who are being kicked out of their trailers. We're having citizens being kicked out of their hotels. We're having citizens being kicked out of everywhere for refugees and everything. As we have Justin Trudeau scream and bring more over. As we have your... Of course, your NDP party and your Conservative party and everybody screaming, bringing over refugees. This is where I am running for the Republican Party and care about Canadians. And I'm going to just give you an idea of refugees. Here in Hamilton, Ontario, to start, we have people being kicked out of their homes and everywhere and nowhere to live. So what they're doing is going and staying on our mountain sites. This is no surprise to anybody out here. And of course, the people there have nowhere to go, no address or nothing. And where do they all have to hang out? Nowhere else in the city besides a Tim Horton donut shop to ask for money and try and get what they have to do. And then we have people being out here who are staying inside of Bungalows over at the Good Shepherd, over at the Wesley Center, over in your Sheraton Hotels. This is where more of your refugees are. And of course, here in Hamilton, Ontario, from Toronto, Canada, for some reason, Toronto, Canada, the Ontario government, which is Doug Ford, who comes out and says that him himself would like to stop all the refugees, but behind the scenes is really for the refugees, just like everybody else. The main problem boils down to it all, is, is that during a time all these people are having to move to mountainsides, having to sleep inside of bus shelters, having to sleep everywhere, because they have raised our economy so high. Your taxes are skyrocketing everywhere, no matter where you go. Businesses are closing everywhere you're going. More people are in assistance than everywhere. Now, for me to give you an example, for a family of 15 that came here, they were paid $500,000 from your Toronto, Ontario government for a family of 15. You equal that all up. And add that together. That's over $35,000 for a startup check. As we have people staying in our Sheraton hotels. As we have women who are being abused by parents out here. Who are staying in women's shelters. As we have families out here who have nowhere to go. Staying with family members. Can't get a break. Can't get anything going. But we have refugees staying in the Sheraton hotels. We have refugees getting places before Canadians. We have refugees voting out real people who are Canadians. This is your real story of your Ontario government, no matter which party you talk about. The real reason that all these people do this is because they know they're stealing billions of dollars of the Canadian taxpayers' money. You just have to look at Kathleen Wynne. You just have to go back and look before her. And of course, you just have to go back and look before her. And it's all in the billions of dollars. 
as we have Doug Ford saying we are making cutbacks. He is a person who fights for the poor. He is a person who is fighting for himself. He is probably the most hated person in Toronto, Canada right now because of him jacking up the prices of so much. There is nothing that Canada owns because of Ontario selling all of their property. What a disgrace. All of your parties are across Ontario, Canada. I think that we should not take anything away from the refugees. I think what we should do is give the Canadian people on assistance the exact same as the refugees are getting. Let's make it fair for Ontario. And let's get ready for more from your Republican Party from Toronto, Canada.